Yeah, they're not really. No, the animation didn't exist that much. You know, I mean, they didn't have an animation classes. You know, uh, they had at night time. I took night classes with Don Graham, who he used to teach. In fact, uh, animation in Disney. Disney at uh, to all the animators, key animators. They would continue their education with Don Graham because Don was the, one of the best teachers that I mean I've ever met, and uh, the best best in America anyway. You know. And uh, he uh, he was doing this work for Disney, and he said, "Jimmy, why don't you get into animation?" He's always say, "Animation is a good field." I said, "Ah, oh, jeez, Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck and all that." He said, "No, no, there's there's a new movement, new of called UPA, you know, and they are breakaways from Disney from when when there was this communist hunt, you know, and uh, strikes on that, you know, in Disney, and so uh, a, a bunch of people went." It started as UPA pictures. They did these wonderful classic stuff. So I found out what they were doing, and I took an interest in that right away, you know. Because as a painter, I was painting a lot. I didn't think in terms of myself being a, um, a fine artist for a long time. I, I, I didn't take it that seriously, as much as I love painting. It was just that period when uh, I had to make some money, the bottom line. I mean, I was. Uh, in order to buy art materials, I, art materials, I worked at the Beverly Hills Hotel in the Ambassador Hotel. You know, at the time when there was an Ambassador Hotel with Coconut Grove and all that, but it's, then they, they went away. But then I continued to, at the Beverly Hills Hotel, I worked there as uh, as a runner. You know, making buffets and and had bus boys and you know, did, and it, and it was enough to pay my my art materials. You know.